So what should you do if you suspect that your iPhone might be compromised? Well, first of all, don't worry, I've got you covered. While iPhones are generally secure, there are some practical steps that you can take to make everything run a bit smoother again. First of all, delete any suspicious apps. As I mentioned before, start by going through your apps and deleting anything that looks out of place or that you don't remember installing. If anything seems fishy, just go ahead and delete it. If it's a useful app that you deleted by mistake, you can always go and reinstall it later. Think of this like taking out the trash. Just get rid of the junk to keep your iPhone clean. Next up is cleaning out your browsing history and data. Let's clean up your browser next. While iOS is pretty secure, it is still possible for some unwanted data to accumulate from websites that you visited. This could include cookies or scripts that track your activity or potentially slow down your device. Open settings, scroll down to Safari or the browser that you're using and tap clear history and website data. This will remove any potential malicious cookies or scripts that might be lurking around. And trust me, you won't miss them. The next thing to do is to update iOS. Apple is pretty good about patching security holes, so keeping your iOS up to date is key to your online security. Go to settings, tap general, then software update and make sure that you're running the latest version of iOS. And if there's an update, go ahead and download it. This can help squash any malware that's taking advantage of outdated software. Next, if things are really bad, you can perform a factory reset. If all else fails, a factory reset might be your last resort. But before you do this, make sure that you back up all of your data to iCloud or your computer so that you don't lose anything, because this will erase everything from your iPhone. To do this, go to settings, tap general, then reset and choose erase all content and settings. Then once your iPhone is wiped clean and restarts, you can restore from that backup that you just made. And remember that restoring from your computer is much faster than doing this from iCloud. Next, you might wanna consider using some kind of security software. Now, I know we don't usually think about security software for iPhones, but there are some good ones out there. Bitdefender, for example, offers a solid iOS app with features like web protection and a built-in VPN. The only downside is that it is a bit limited compared to its full desktop version, but it's still a good layer of extra protection for your iPhone. If you're curious about Bitdefender and want to learn more, then check out the full review we recently made by clicking the link down in the description. It really does give you all the details that you need. Now, if you're not sure where to get started with all of this, I recommend running a quick scan with a security app like Bitdefender. It's easy to use and can help identify any potential threats that you may have missed. If you're curious about more ways to protect your devices, then check out our full Bitdefender review video, which goes into even more detail on what this security suite can do for you. The link is down in the description if you wanna check it out, and trust me, it is worth a watch. All right, so the big takeaway here is that it's all about being proactive. The more steps you can take to secure your iPhone, the less likely you are to encounter a problem in the first place. And remember that adding an extra layer of security with a tool like Bitdefender isn't a bad idea, especially if you're concerned about privacy and online safety. It offers features like real-time protection and a secure browser, which can give you that extra peace of mind. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more tech and cybersecurity content in future videos. And as always, if you have any questions or experiences that you wanna share, then feel free to leave those down in the comments section as well. We would love to hear from you. But as always, stay safe online and we'll see you next time.